How's it everyone? This is Lokahol, and in today's video we're going to be looking at Headhunter. GGG has finally updated it and I want to test it. I've been holding on to Headhunters for quite a lot this league, hoping that they go up. So the changes they've made is that it's now when you kill a rare monster you gain its modifiers for 60 seconds instead of 20, but on top of that They've done a lot of work on reducing the memory usage of rare monsters so that a greater variety can be present in each area. This means that you should be getting more Headhunter stacks. Previously, I didn't think Headhunter felt that bad, but I'm very curious to see, is it much better? So we're going to run a triple influenced map here. Veritania, Shaper, and something else. Oh yeah, Eater of Worlds and... Let's, I don't know, slap on Domination. I just want something a bit juicy to really test it out and see can it handle it. Okay, 23 stacks, I didn't see that before the nerf. This feels like old head on, so am I crazy? Is this copium or does this actually feel really good? And what's really nice is now I'm at a boss with like 30 stacks and it's lasting a minute. So yeah, that's cool. Oh. 
All right, first map. I must admit that felt really good. There's no way I'm going back to a mage blood after that. This just, it felt a lot like old headhunter to me. However, something I do want to test is on a less powerful build. So this is a really pretty well geared up omniscience build. I want to quickly hop over to my MFO. That is a build that 100% relies on Headhunter and sucks without it. So let's go over, have a look at that character. So this character literally lives off Headhunter and without it, it sucks. So let's see, can it pull off this juiced delirium map? I hope so. One final little test is just going to be a normal cemetery, not super juiced up. We'll put on Fortune Favors, the Brave, and Eater of the Worlds. No scarabs, nothing too fancy. Let's see, can we actually feel the headhunter? I'm actually deliberately not going to go through that. Let's see. Six stacks. Eleven. Yeah, this feels nice. Even on a not super juicy map.
Yeah, so we peaked at about 11 stacks on that. It felt really nice to me. It really did. That's with no juice. I'm still chilling with three stacks with 30 seconds. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so take this with a grain of salt. This is an opinion. I think Headhunter feels really good now. It's not as zoomy. And something important is getting Soul Eater. The moment you get Soul Eater, it feels amazing. I think a good fix to Headhunter would have just been permanent Soul Eater. Then it would have been probably, I don't know, too strong. But I didn't feel as zoomy on this character. But I must admit, the single target when I got to that boss, I don't remember killing bosses that quickly, even with a ton of Headhunter stacks on this. So... Is Headhunter worth it? It has l practically doubled in price overnight. It went from 44 chaos or 48 chaos. Now it's sitting at about 88. And I, again, take this with a grain of salt. I think it's worth it. It feels really good. I, I've been using Mage Blood for about a week. And after playing that one map with Headhunter, I... Don't, I, I don't think I can go back to Mage Blood because it feels really good. But yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think Headhunter is fixed? Is this not enough to get you back on the Headhunter train? I'm very happy with this. It feels good, but I'm absolutely looking forward to more in-depth discussions about Headhunter and seeing everyone's opinions about it. So have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.